So PIMCore is system info and tools. It allows us a couple of things. If you go here to tools, go to system info and tools. Here you can see that we have a couple of cool options. The first one is PHP info, which basically so shows us the PHP configuration currently running on the server. Not really gonna go through through this much. Since if you're familiar with PHP, you probably already saw this. Basically, let's say maybe you can go here and search to see what your memory limit currently is set at. Uh, basically your whole PHP configuration. Another thing that we have under the system info and tools is the PHP OP cache status. If you're familiar with uh, PHP OP caching, it's basically the caching of a uh, compiled PHP code. This depends if you have it turned on. You can see a bunch of statistics uh, regarding this. Another thing that we have here is the system requirements check. Basically this shows you if you have everything configured and installed correctly, it will tell you if something is not okay, if something is required to be installed and etc. And basically under database administrator, you can go directly into the database. You can run SQL commands you can view all of the tables that exist within the PIM core database. You can search the data, sh uh, check the structure of each table. A use case for this would be if something's maybe not working, you can go to the database and check if it's there. You can also go and check what certain column names are. that are defaultly created by PIM core. For example, if you wanted to query something or sort it by the creation date, you can go and check what the name of that field, or should I say, column within the database actually is. And the final thing that we have within the system and info is the server file explorer. Here you can actually click on a particular file and edit it directly from here. Basically this is like your text editor directly within PIM core. So if something is not working and you immediately need to change it, you don't have time to push it through Git or something, you can just change it, fix it directly from the PIM core administration. Hope the video helped you. And if you want to learn more about PIM core, you can check out my Udemy course called Learning PIM core from Zero to Hero, where I will show you all of the steps from creating a project, buying and setting up a server, as well as deploying your project. Hope to see you there.